each new case is like a new book. You get new facts, you get new characters. Uh, each one of them has issues that need to be solved um, and getting down, getting to know people, getting to know their problems, getting to know their business and helping them get to a resolution that works for them. A very important part of my practice is advising not only established companies but new companies in how to set up their business to best avoid risk and to best avoid litigation down the road. So I'm a second year associate in our uh, litigation department. I do a lot of uh, defense of companies, business litigation, whether that's class action defense, employment and labor defense, uh, cybersecurity, data breach. We do a little bit of it all. Because a lot of our work is complex work, um, a lot of our clients come to us because they can't figure out the answer for themselves. So we spend a lot of time trying to thoroughly research and look through the issues that are at hand and be able to give our clients the best advice, whether that would be to pursue litigation or settle or, you know, whatever that result may be. Our litigation support team has members that have the certified e-discovery specialist credential. The certified e-discovery specialist credential really speaks to our litigation support team's knowledge and understanding of the e-discovery process from start to finish. Uh, understanding that process is very important because it does help to drive efficiencies when we're aligned with industry best practices and it also saves our clients money. The intellectual property group here in Cleveland works hand in hand, uh, hopefully as early as possible, to uh, establish a strategic plan with intellectual property um, when these uh, emerging companies are growing. That way, with the growth, they'll see that their intellectual property is protected they'll see that the brand and their invention is protected from their competitors. And it's always good to have those conversations early on. So there's a lot of things that we can do um, far ahead of time, uh, but, but sometimes and many times in my practice, it's once the lawsuit sort of springs to life and we jump right in and, and come up with a strategy right away if it's defending uh, or even if it's pursuing uh, someone else for infringement, sometimes the products come up very quickly. Maybe we don't, we find out about it at a trade show and all of a sudden we have to put a team together and, and do something very quickly to prevent the client from losing any of that market share. We work with you know, various stages of companies. We do a lot of startup and early stage work. Um, the clients come to us when they're you know, looking for some guidance on entity type formation, um, governance matters, and when they're looking for sort of their first stages of financing. Um, we're really there to not only help make sure that things are legally proper, but also we just advise them on what we think makes the most sense for their business. We pride ourselves on not just being legal advisors, but also we like to say that we're people connectors. And every company is different and we have to basically think through all of the current needs of the company and also all of the potential needs going forward.